Hello everyone, and welcome back. I am Jay Carver as always. Today is a little bit of a special situation. Uh, it's not a run up as you might be aware because we shouldn't be playing 1-2. We have more money than our current run it up bankroll on the table here. So it's not a run it up, but uh, we will be running queens into something here. Queens into kings. Glad it's not a run it up episode. We're going to need a queen or some diamonds to get started here today. Or we'll be stuck 180 bucks in the hole. Close, but not quite. So yeah, we're going to need a reload here on table 118, 835, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so we're playing some 1-2 today. Uh, I I wanted to do a run it up episode, but there wasn't really anything running that fit in our stake limit, and I, I didn't really have the time to sit around and wait for it. So I thought I'd play some 1-2, and just kind of like, it's almost a little different, because I, I actually feel, not like I feel pressure, but I feel absolutely zero pressure playing like higher stakes. I feel like there's no... Um, you know, there's really not, you know, who gives the, you know, what's the worst thing that could happen? I'm going to lose 200 bucks. <laughs> I was like, all right, <laughs> sounds fine, you know. So I think today we're going to just do like a Saturday hangout. I feel like I should have had a better idea for what I'm going to name this episode instead of just being like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, uh, we're going to play some 2-4 and hang out. But, I, you know, I want to do things more like this as the you know, if I were going to do a, a, a daily a daily poker show here, or a daily show that will be mostly poker, you know, I think if we're going to call it, like, the way that I'm kind of considering going forward with this is that, you know, the name of the show, I talked about it yesterday, the basic core of the show is, like, the Jay Carver, Jay Carver Daily is how I think I'm going to go about this, and then, oh, no, we don't need to show that. I'm gonna. I'm basically considering this to be like the J Carver Daily, and that every day of the week there'll be something different. We'll do some more regular stuff. There'll be like you know every Wednesday or something will be like a guest episode. And every Friday will be something different. You know, like that's how I'm kind of thinking we're gonna do this. But there'll all be some different changes. So uh, for today, I'm playing some one two uh, six max. If you guys like this idea, dislike this idea, want to see certain things on certain days, let me know. I talked a little bit more about this towards like the end of yesterday's episode, also. So there's a little bit more more details in there decide to raise it up here at king three suited uh, it's probably a slightly losing raise but you know i'm fine with it mix it up we'll uh we'll get in there see what happens can't be that bad not the greatest flop for us i don't think he's going to be folding a ton here but i think we can try try a seven dollar bet don't have don't really know anything about this guy he calls very quickly six of club is an interesting turn card Shouldn't really improve him in any way. I kind of feel like he's almost never folding on the turn, but if he check back turn, we're never winning on rivers. And I think this is a... I, I think maybe <laughs> maybe what I should do is I should make a challenge that I have to play every single hand in an episode. How do you like that? The Saturday the Saturday challenge series? Today's challenge is that I have to play every hand. I kind of like that. Uh, Scott's completely not faked. <laughs> That's not like a thing. I was like, oh, this is what I'm going to do today. And then, no, I, I like that idea though. Let's see how many hands we can just like run through, just like make them happen no matter what. I like that. We're gonna do, this. gonna get in there, gonna get in there. All right. So uh, raising the ace queen though, which we would do with or without a challenge. Now we got a challenge. This is great. Um, so here we go. Rin raising. Not gonna fold to a re raise here. This should put us in some interesting spots. We're just gonna basically take the. We're gonna get into the street fights, boys. The ones we've been talking about. That's it. We're gonna have to get in there. Uh, all right. So. We'll try to put like a 20 minute clock on it and see what percentage of hands we can win in the next 20 minutes. And uh, I guess we'll just have to see after the fact because I'm not keeping track while we go. But we're on a decent, you know, if we talk about like the record of it, we won this hand, we won, uh, we just lost the queen's hand. We've won every other one since then. So what is that, like two and one or something? All right, so queen non offsuit here. If it goes raise, re raise, I guess we just fold. But in any other reasonable circumstance, we'll, we'll play the pot. That's it. Has to go raise, re-raise, and then we fold. Anything else, we'll have to we'll have to try to contest. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Super J Carver Saturdays. That's it. What can't we do? <laughs> That's it. Why not? Why not try to win every pot? This is a great idea. This is some live casting improv. That's just like fantastic. I'm loving it. Rick Devella over here will hopefully come back to the table sometime soon and play his hand. Decides to raise. That's great with us. Let's see a flop. All right. Pretty good flop for us here. I think given that we're trying to win every hand, <laughs> given that that's what we're attempting to do here, uh, I think the best way for us to win this hand is to check raise. He checks back very quickly. So we turn a double gut shot now. Any 10 or 6 will make us a straight. I think... 
I wonder if the best thing to do here is to bet like like 15 or something, a ton. But I think 8 still works a good amount of time. If he calls, we'll be in a weird situation because uh, we'd, we would have been in a weird situation because I, I'm not exactly sure what to make of his quick check back call line. Like, I'm not really sure where his hand strength lies. But, uh, yeah, I think it's fine. 8 force duty here, we're going to limp, go from there. We wouldn't be folding again, even if they're <laughs> it's like, what's the challenge? <laughs> Jake Carver, you always do this. What have you done differently so far? We'll see. We'll see. That's right, though. So far, there's been no difference. So uh, a limp called here preflop against this guy, who I haven't seen too much out of so far. Check, check, which is good. Turn six. So when he checks back this flop, I kind of think he has a hand like two sevens very often, something like that. So I feel like... For us to get him to fold the hand like that, we're going to have to like bet a lot, like a lot, a lot, twice, maybe. I think I'm going to try this 2x pot thing, betting 28 to win like 15. I mean, I think it, I think he folds so many of the hands like that. If he has a hand like ace-10, uh, ace-10 maybe we'll call him because it has a gut shot. But I think if he has a hand like two sevens, he just folds. If he has a hand like, you know, I think I think if that's what we're trying to do here, then I think that's what we should do. Now in this spot, if our hand, if our goal is to win every single hand no matter what, we should make it like twenty, right? Because he almost always folds to twenty, right? Like we'd usually make it like ten because we want him to call, but why not make it twenty? Like why not make it twenty? They're gonna, we think he's gonna fold here so often, right? How often is it gonna go two to twenty with a hand he limps? Very rarely, right? We just put him in the cage a little bit there. We just go twenty. Thank you. Thank you for the five dollars. Like we get, we just get in trouble when these one of these two players wakes up with a hand, which does happen some percentage of the time, but not that often. You know, not not a uh, not often enough. Like five percent of the time or something. This is, <laughs> this might be a tough one. This might be the first hand that we just don't uh, succeed on because it doesn't look the greatest. <laughs> I don't love our chances right now. We're gonna start with the bet again, betting kind of a lot. No, oh, we did, we did it, we did it. All right, I, I wanted to bet bigger because uh, we really need this guy to get out of here. To we have, so we have a shot at winning the pot in position, out of position. That hand, we might have just had to take the loss on that one. We could just take that as a strike for the team. Seven five offsuit here. I'm happy defending. I think actually we will have a decent winning percentage out of the big blind here. Uh, if CJR re-raises, we would have... Okay, so here's another question for us. Do we want to re-raise here pre-flop or just call? I think the, the best way to, to win this hand is to start with the re-raise pre-flop. We can make it kind of on the bigger side. I think 28 seems fine. Again, we're going to try to run and maximize our fold equity pre-flop, but I don't think it necessarily has to go fold fold, but I'd rather play this hand heads up than three-handed. You know, I think if we're really trying to win every single pot, then we should re-raise here. If he re-raises, we'll just fold. I think at that point, we're just over the hand. I don't think we win that often enough. But instead, we pick up 10 sweet dollars. All right, I'm liking this. That's it. This is the, <laughs> this is it. This is what I talk about. This, these are the cash game streets right here, you know? All right, queen jack off seats. We actually start with a decent hand here. We're probably going to be calling or something. We'll have to just see. Ten dollars. What have we encouraged? Uh, against the ten dollar raise, <laughs> I guess. I guess we should be. We're out of position, which kind of sucks. I mean, I want to kind of end the hand sooner, but he made it ten. <laughs> I mean, like, all right. I guess we. I guess calling is less bad than re-raising. So uh, let's see what happens. Not the worst flop for us. We have a three straight. A two flush, a three flush, and a three straight. Yeah, two flush. Uh, I don't. Okay, let's start with checking. I was thinking about leading, but if he has a king, he's not folding no matter what. Twenty four. Uh, Twenty four. That's that's a lot, sir. That's a lot. Uh, we might have to just take this one as a loss. Uh, I mean. I, I, don't, I just don't know if he's folding. Like, we could try making it 60, but I just don't think that's even, like, doable. Yeah, we'll take one loss there. So we, 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 didn't, win, we didn't win that one. Uh, I mean, like, you know, his, he really, he got, he, he did what we were doing to everybody else. And he just was like, well, I'm winning this hand, bitch. <laughs> he's like, a 10, pot. Actually, more than pot, right? Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, I guess we're just folding. So we're going to open this hand, because this hand is pretty good, and we got the button, which is always nice. Movich, the dog cow, folds in the, <laughs> in the, the bovine king over there. Sides let that one go, and our friend Xerxes lets that one go over there. So, okay. 
10 views suited. We're raising it. Just, it's not that far from a normal video. The normal videos, I don't think, are that far off from this one. So he raises to 520. We're in position with the suited hand. I think I'd prefer to re-raise and call once again, kind of similar to the 58 suited hand. I think, um, I think 18 is fine. Maybe 20 is a little bit better, get a little bit more fold equity, but 18 is fine. Can't be too bad. If we get re-raised here, we just have to forfeit and let it go. We'll just take the loss. But I think this is all right. Works often enough. Why not do it? How bad could it be? <laughs> what's, what's the worst thing that could happen to us? Risking 18 to win 820. Yeah, I think it works often enough. Plus, we win the pop post flop more often than we lose it, which is always nice. What are you going to do, sir? Master Chief on Master Chief. Looks like it'll be folding. All right. Another one another one for the bad guys. <laughs> Just like Charles Sonnen style. I think if there is... I think if I had to pick, like... Uh, if I had to pick three people that were... Oh, I forgot. I, I autopiloted. I'm sorry. That was an autopilot fold. My bad. I'll take the points on that. I just made an easy fold. I was like, oh, queen three fold. My bad. Uh, looks like we weren't going to win this hand very often anyway. We actually... That was just like spider. My spider senses were going off. That we were going to get re-raised we re there. So it looks like we wouldn't have won that pot. If I had to pick three people, though, who I look up to for very different reasons, and uh, I have a very different like amount of... Uh, you know, like my respect is very different for very different reasons. Chael Sonnen is way up there, though. What a character. Like, he's he's so brilliant with how he's developed himself in the past few years to, like, you know, I have a lot, I have a lot of respect for Chael. Uh, he is one. Uh, and then, uh, I don't think I have, like, a top three list, to be honest, but Chael is definitely up there. He's one of my, one of my idols for... You know, there are some things he does that I don't really love, of course, but... So, Kaufmeyer decides to re-raise over there. Uh, I think... I think... We probably can try re-raising this once. We haven't seen him do this yet before, so I'm not necessarily sure this is light. But I think this works often enough. 55, we're risking... We made it 5, right? So we're risking 50 to win 33. Has to work eh, not that often. I think he's a chance he could be squeezing because this guy called. He might this call might have made this happen. So this has to be close to okay. Nice, nice. That's it. Get out of here. Get out of here with your angry basketball. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, that's it. Hey, you know what we just earned here? That's right. We earned it. That's it. <laughs> that's what we are, boys. That is it. It is happening. I'm going to try not to puncture and kill myself <laughs> on camera, but we are fucking, er uh, yeah, that's it. That's how excited we are. Who wouldn't be excited? I get to be sheriff officially, sheriff of one, two, even though we're stuck and not running it up. That's it. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. If there's ever a video where we've earned a sheriff badge, it's got to be this video. All right. So. He limped, I raised, he called. He checked, I bet, he called. Here we are now on the turn. I have a feeling he's not folding here too often, but once again, if our goal is to win every single hand, we have to think about what our best chances is in winning this hand. And it's not checking back turn, that's for sure. Checking back turn is not, is not going to make this hand play better for us. 26 is not a lot, but maybe it gets him to fold like 9-8, gets him to fold ace-5 maybe once in a while, something like that. Didn't work out for us, and we didn't drill it, which would have been nice. Oh, man, you know, like, I think I'm just going to end up giving up here. It's possible that he ha has a hand like 9-10, or sorry, like a 9 or 10, like jack 9 or, you know, king 10, and those hands might fold at this point, but they might just not, you know? We've been so active and so wild. Maybe, like, maybe if we had acted sooner, we could have done something here. I just decided to give up. Oh! <laughs> We still shift it. Oh, look at that. This is a golden, this is a golden episode. Considering that I was like, yeah, I'll just play some one, two. And then all of a sudden we had a challenge and oh man, this is great. This is the one, two, the one, two Sheriff J Carver challenge. That's what this was today. <laughs> this is a bizarre episode, but I'm loving it. This is great. I hope you guys are loving it too. I mean, how could you not? This is great. We're in there. We're in there fighting every pot, tooth and nail, trying to to win back my $200 that I gave to that guy who hit and ran, kind of, sort of. 
Uh, so we... All right, so this is a situation that's a little different because we actually have a hand this time versus several other times today so far. Um, if he has a 10 or a queen, I don't think he folds at this point. He might fold by the river. I think I'm going to bet larger here, kind of protection to protect, get a little bit of value out of like two over cards, jack nine, club, something like that. But given a call and a brick, <sighs> this is tough, man. This is tough. Uh, I think even for the sheriff, <laughs> even for the sheriff, I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, I think, I don't think he's going to fold a queen. He might fold a 10, but we still beat King Jack and Jack 9 and like some other hands, ace highs every once in a while. I checked and he bet. I bet 20 and he called. Is there any chance we can win this with like a shove? Is there any chance we can win this with a raise? He bet 26 into 65. I just don't see it. I don't. I don't see it. I don't know if we can call twenty six more. I mean, we could call just so we can see because we actually we have no chance of winning if we fold. So we have to call, right? That's true. <sighs> Why couldn't you have King Jack? But it, technically, for the challenge's purpose, given that we have like a decent chance of winning, I think we have to call that river. Just if we're trying to win the challenge, you know. Just I'm just saying. So again, in the interest of winning the challenge, I think we're going to try to size a little bit bigger. Not something I would normally say we should do, but again, we have 10-3 offsuit, and I think we can play very like oriented around this hand, make it bigger, I think is, is better there. This is actually the kind of experiment that I really, really encourage that you do at a bankroll limit that doesn't affect you, because it's so good for like getting your poker game sharp and just like trying to put yourself in weird situations and then just do it. I did this a lot, a lot when I was younger, just for the fun of it with friends, and uh, it was always, it was, it's always so good for your poker game to just really, really try to win like every single hand in like a thirty-minute session or whatever, and you just find yourself in spots with like five high and like a king queen jack board, and you're just like, uh, <laughs> help, <laughs> like, and uh, yeah, like. Like situations like this, like what's the what's the best way we can play this hand now? Like I think the way that we're gonna try to play this hand is that we're gonna bet a lot on the flop and then we're gonna bet a lot on the turn. Like I think he's gonna call here very, very often on the flop. Certain turn cards I probably would have given up on, like ones that would have actually connected with the board, but a six eye is not one of them. So I think to get this hand through, like I would assume that if he had a really good hand, he would have raised the flop. So given that he didn't do that, I'm going to try bidding 65 to win 35. I know we have like the nut low effectively, and if he calls now, we'll probably just give up, but maybe not. Like if he has a hand like Jack-10 facing 65 into this bet, you don't really want to be calling. If you have a hand like King-Jack, you definitely don't want to be calling, but he might. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but you know, you won't really, you're know you not really happy about it by any means. So I think this will work often enough that we just get it done. Nice. This is this might be this might be my favorite episode when this is all said and done. I'm gonna be really upset that Monday I woke up and I said the first thing I want to do this week is get a haircut before my hair gets out of control. And now all I do is see myself in the little projection and I'm like, oh my god, these little Long Island Jew curls are just like I feel like I'm Wolverine over here. It's driving me crazy. That's what it is. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna be gone eventually. It's bothering me. It always happens. I don't know what to tell you. It'll be gone by the next video. Scout's honor. I'm the sheriff. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> you know? All right, so we raised here with King Jack. We got called by Movich, and wow, we actually flopped something decent, which will be good for us because we're not going to stop betting. Getting about 11 here. He calls. 10 is an interesting turn card. Um, we could definitely argue betting. I think betting is fine. I think checking is also cool. I'm not really too worried about giving him a free card, and I think check calling kind of prevents us from getting hurt too badly by 10s. Um, you know, I assume we have the best hand here way more often than not, especially given how we've played. I mean, I think people will expect this to be at least kind of wild at this point. I don't think I really want to check raise here. I think check calling is fine. Seven is not my favorite river card, but we're not probably going to be check folding here. I'm probably going to end up check calling. You could also argue for bet folding. I think that's also fine. There's several options here. Him betting 26. He bet 26 last time with the queen six, which would make sense if he had a hand like queen 10 here with like the queen of hearts or like, you know, something like that. Ace, ace of hearts, 10, something like that. But I think our hand is just too good to fold, and we're going to be folding enough that I don't think we have to fold this hand. Also, challenge. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm the sheriff, you know? That's it. <laughs> Get out of here. D7 seated under the gun. Let's make it nine, dealer. 
<laughs> I wish these guys could see in real life that I'm putting on a sheriff badge, raising with Deuce 7 suited, and they'd be like, yeah, yeah, he is the sheriff, clearly. Clearly, he is the sheriff. And that's it. All right. I'm going to give up for this for the time being, to be honest. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I need to practice. <laughs> I need to practice being sheriff a little bit here. But, uh, you know, I, we all know we've earned it. All right, so he is checked, and we have a pair. And if you've watched any of my videos, I usually bet. So having a pair is a great reason to bet. Nice, we got that done there. I think we'll probably play for one more ring around the table here, and then we'll probably just let this one go. If you like the video, though, oh, I, can't, I cannot wait to read the comments on this video. This is a live cast. It's not pre-recorded. I don't know how to prove that otherwise. Oh, here's how I'll prove it. I'll show you one of these things. There you go. That's some real-time commentary. Now you know. Or I just really am running the bluff here, one or the other. But, uh, God, I'm happy I played this session. This session, I was like, yeah, I'll just wake up in the morning and post it. And then I was like, but the Europeans, they, the Polish, they, they, need, they want the morning videos. That's actually a question I have for you guys. Because if you, uh, it, I posted, ooh, I folded this without thinking about it. But it was raise, re-raise, right? So that's okay. I said that was all right. Um, I posted a video, I think it was 22. I posted 22 at 7 in the morning Pacific time. I don't know if anybody likes that more or less or whatever. I've kind of been just playing around with it and doing it at like 11 usually Pacific time, but maybe, uh, I mean, I have no problem tweaking it on certain days. That, that I think on Fridays particularly, I'm going to be doing that more often. Definitely going to raise this here because, you know, hey, can't win it if we call. I think 28 is probably a good number here. Making it 24 might encourage a call here. I think 28 kind of is like the lowest where we also get like a high amount of fold equity. The lowest dollars for the highest amount of fold equity, I think. Psh, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Sheriffing Saturdays. That's it. <laughs> something like that. I can't wait to see what I ultimately title this episode, but it's going to be something. <laughs> it's got to be something good to be appropriate for all this awesome poker stuff. Also, very poker-heavy episode, but it's been great. If only all poker episodes were like this, that would just be something. I mean, I feel like at some point these guys are going to just be like, man, this guy is just not folding, but hey, until then... Until then, this poor Rick guy is like, got re-raised <laughs> every time he's opened. We have just been like, giving him the business every time. I, I mean, I'm encouraging him. I'm like almost rooting on him to like re-raise and just be like, you know, punish me, Rick. Punish. No, Rick didn't want to. CJR over there is just trying to like play a poker game. He's got a hundred dollars. He's sick of our shit. <laughs> He's like, this guy can't have it every time. Well, you're right. And, you know, uh, I don't really love our, I mean, our hand probably isn't a two to one dog here. It's probably very close to this equity. Uh, you know, it's probably very close, but I think we're just going to fold. I mean, I think that's probably a, a losing, like a far losing bet to make, and he's pretty much all in. So I think we'll let that one go at that point. You know, I think I think we've tried our best that hand. Uh, you know, it's possible he could have called if he's been paying attention because we've been just playing every hand pretty much. So it's possible that he called with the big hand to punish us. So I think given that, uh, I think given that it's bad enough that we can fold, but... Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm only, I'm only the sheriff Wolverine today. <laughs> I'm Wolverine form Jay Carver with the sheriff's badge. So I'm going to go with my instinct, my, my true instinct here. I think seven is all right. I probably could have made it like eight or 10, something like that would have been fine, but seven's cool. It can't be that big of a difference either way. So folds to the big blind. Let's see a flop. The old Jack 8 deuce flop, which is not the best, nor the worst. Uh, I think on this flop, I think we want to probably bet, um, I think bigger is probably better. I mean, obviously, every, we want to size everything bigger just because we are trying to get people to fold. Uh, so, yeah, given that that is our primary objective here, uh, I think that's, you know, what we're doing. Uh, within reason, of course. I think we'll make it 8. I think it's fine. We could make it six. This hand is less against getting action on it, but so I made it eight. He made it thirty-four. I mean, we could just shove this. Obviously, it's not. It can't be that bad to shove it preflop because he's going to be doing this so widely. Because we've been in there so widely. But I think calling is fine too. 
Let's see a flop, dealer. That's not the absolute best flop for pocket sixes, as you might be able to see for yourself. Um, but I, I think if he bets, we're going to just end up folding at this point. There's really not a ton we can do. If he checked back, we might have done something. I mean, I think we could argue. You could argue for like a check raise here. I think that would be okay. But, um, you know, like a check raise has a chance of working, but I don't think it has like a reasonable chance of working. And just like, I think that check raise here would just be like a silly giveaway. So that'll be another strike for the strike for the good guys on that one, as Chael would say. So very last hand here. Um, we would play this hand even if we were playing like a sit and go. Never mind a, <laughs> never mind the challenge video. So uh, yeah, gonna raise this one up here for sure. Let's see if we get punished or if we can get through with one more little uh, three dollar steal here. Doesn't look like we'll be getting even this video, but who cares? It's not run it up. <laughs> it's not run it up. There's no expectations. All right, folds to CJR who calls. Pretty good flop for us. We flopped a purr and the flush draw, and kind of a straight draw if you really want to be creative about it. Actually, I guess we don't really have a straight draw because it'd have to come 7-5, and then that would be a 6 straight, which is not really, uh, not really a great hand in Texas Hold'em, when you have the bottom end at least. Uh, I think 8 is fine, 9 is probably fine, 10 is probably fine, but I think they all pretty much accomplish the same thing. He calls very quickly. 10 is a poor card for us. He checks again very fast, which makes me believe there is a chance that we can get him to fold a better hand than ours. There's always a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Uh, yeah, so like this probably could be bad, but I thought he'd fold like eights, some nines, you know, sixes we beat, obviously, so that's not really a care hand we care about. But yeah, I think we're just going to just fold now. I mean, you know, he he might be punishing us, but what can you do? Well, one one last hand. That that was our, our one last hand for the for the moment. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really did. I thought this was like a this is a fun one. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back with more tomorrow. It'll be a different kind of video because I'm gonna be not in. Um, You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. It'll be a it'll be a different kind of video for the next couple of videos, so you guys will have to just see. Hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I'll be back with more tomorrow. See you guys soon. Peace.